Okay, so let's start with a simple example which you can try to differentiate between jQuery and normal JavaScript or this example demonstrate this. So this is basically my HTML page. Here I have called my jQuery as usual on this particular line script src is equal to jQuery.js. My jQuery and my page is on the same location as I mentioned earlier. Here inside the body I have written a script for jQuery which is document dot ready function and here there is the functionality that I want to run fine so what we are doing here is we are looking for the element a fine so when we click on hyperlink fine a so this is the hyperlink a when I click here we will pop up something called as welcome to jQuery. Now this alert is normal JavaScript keep in mind but this functionality that is happening the action that is taking place is via jQuery fine. Now this script part is jQuery we will be discussing what and why how this is written in the next video but this is the jQuery script fine. So when I use this this jQuery file will be used in the background. Okay, so the other thing that I have done here is I have a button and on click I have associated a normal alert functionality over here with JavaScript which is welcome via JavaScript, right? So when someone clicks this, this will directly happen via JavaScript. So point to understand is that if your requirement is very simple, fairly simple, you don't need to use jQuery. As we will see the functionality that jQuery provides, those things which can reduce my JavaScript code then only we should use jQuery not for simple alerts and all but this example simply demonstrates that how things are done with JavaScript and how the jQuery script is written fine again I would mention point to notice is that to run JavaScript I had to associate a function over here on click inside the button I had to write something for jQuery very interestingly we don't need to touch the actual element over here by writing any code or something now Coming to this, let's come back to our location where our file is. So here is the simple example. Let's run this. Now here I have a click button. So when I click on this, the alert comes, welcome to jQuery. So this code was run via jQuery. And when I click on this, this runs via JavaScript. So that is our simple code here, which you can try out on your machines. This is the jQuery part and this is the JavaScript part. Okay, so we'll continue in the next video further.